Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm in the office, taking care of business, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. Let's talk about being a G. How do you be a G? Everybody wants to be a real G. What does it even mean? What are you even talking about? You want to be a gangster? Is that what it means? Not here. Not on this channel. Uh-uh. I'm trying to take weaklings and turn them into warriors. If you're a gangster, we're going to transform you from that gangster, from being a G into a gentleman. That's what the G stands for now, is gentleman. How to be a G? It's how to be a gentleman. That's true masculinity. There's a, a simulation, a fraudulent form of masculinity. It's, it's little boys pretending to be men. That's what the, the bad boy is. That's what the gangster is. They're, they're overgrown kids pretending to be men. It's, it's fake manhood. Don't cherry pick through fake manhood thinking that that's going to make you more confident or more accepted or more successful. <laughs> Let's talk about being a gentleman. How to be more elegant with our masculinity. That's the way I've heard it described. Those aren't my words. So, let's talk about some personality traits. It's good to be chivalrous. A gentleman practices chivalry. You open doors. You say yes ma'am and no ma'am. Yes sir, no sir. You are polite and courteous. If you're with uh, your woman, you walk on the outside of the street as tradition. She walks on the inside of the street with her purse on the shoulder to the inside and you make sure that she's safe. Your job as you're walking down the street is to protect your woman from anything. Whether it's a car that drives through a puddle or a person or anything at all. It's good to be stoic, to be in control of your emotions, to be calm. That's supreme confidence. When, when you see characters acting crazy, I used to laugh at the video footage of Tupac Shakur of him spitting at reporters and leaning out of cars, flashing gang signs and middle fingers and just acting crazy. And he had many interactions with paparazzi. And I, I lived in Hollywood and I get that those reporters can be terrible and maybe they deserve some pushback. But what I'm getting at is that there was this fantasy by lots of fans of his that he was so alpha male such a dominant, confident man. That type of behavior, that overly emotional, outlandish display, that's childlike behavior. That's a, that's a temper tantrum that children do. So think about that the next time that you, you, you get angry. How would a gentleman handle this? Not how would a gangster handle it. How would a gentleman handle it? Forget this Al Capone fantasy and think about James Bond. James Bond was a gentleman. James Bond was chivalrous. James Bond was stoic. So some other traits that you can think about to be a gentleman are to be funny and witty. A gentleman is a good conversationalist. He's fun to be around socially. And one way that you can be interesting socially and be the life of the party and be welcomed and engage with other people, because if you're just standing up against the wall, silent, that's a problem that I've had for most of my life. I'm just in the corner, in the shadows. No, that's, that's lack of confidence. That's beta. A dominant alpha. Again, they're not like Tupac flashing guns out the back windows of BMW spitting at people. It's a really sophisticated, in control, witty, funny, interesting guy. 
I suggest taking martial arts or some sort of movement training in that world. It could be yoga, it could be tai chi, to learn to be coordinated. And when you have a certain level of eye-hand coordination, some of you who are natural athletes and grew up playing sports, you may already have a certain coordination, but have elegant movements. People who are coordinated, athletes, they walk different than people who aren't coordinated, who don't really have muscle or athleticism or balance. That makes a difference. And, and move slowly. Some people are really fast walkers and really kind of, they look like they're on edge on the t all the time, like little chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are on edge all the time. I had a neighbor when I lived in Maryland. I had a neighbor who had 12, oh God, she had 12 chihuahuas. Oh, nightmare. Absolutely, nightmare. <laughs> but move slowly. Be articulate. Speak well. This is something that I've had to try to train myself because I can curse every other word and kind of slip into a, a street talk. I, I grew up that way, talking like that. And I can very quickly just kind of be... It's not Ebonics, I don't want to say that, but it's definitely not proper English. <laughs> Speak in proper English, be articulate. One of the ways that you can become more articulate is reading. I promote every single person that uh, watches this to read. I tell everyone that I coach, you have to read. Pick a book and read it every day. You have to read. This has many, many helpful effects on your life. Reading is important. And one of the very little things that you can gain from it is to learn to talk better. You become very articulate. If you can have a, a nice smile and be articulate, speak well, communicate well, you'll go so far in this world. Oh my God. You'll be like a superhero. <laughs> I'm serious with that. People get far when they can speak well and communicate well. Another thing that gentlemen do is lifestyle. Lifestyle management. They don't just wake up and have this, well, what am I going to do with my day or my life and just kind of let the wind take them. Oh, no. They're directed, they're focused on goals, and they get to their goals through a mind, body, and soul program. I didn't invent this program. I promote it. I live it. I lead by example. And you cannot be a gentleman without the mind, body, and soul program because it involves spirituality. Gentlemen have a high sense of morals and virtue and character. You build that through the mind, body, and soul program, through studying spirituality, through studying psychology, psychiatry, history, and then sitting around thinking about that stuff, pondering it like a philosopher. Study philosophy, become a philosopher. Work out, be in great shape, have your clothes fit you. Be in good enough shape to where people notice. You don't have to be steroid boy. You don't have to be some jacked workout guy. Just be in slightly better shape than your average person and you will stand out as a dominant man. You don't have to posture and act like some kind of mobster or gangster. Be cultured. That means you have to explore. You have to be interested in different things. Maybe travel a little. The internet is at your fingertips and you can learn a lot about the world through the internet. You don't even have to go anywhere. but. This will help you in conversations. It'll help you be a more well-rounded individual. It'll make you smarter, wiser. Learn to enjoy. This is something that is important to gentlemen. We're talking about gentlemen. Remember our James Bond image. Enjoy ele elegance. Enjoy luxury. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be some 
joker trying to live in a super mansion or something, right? Have a fleet of Lamborghinis. Even if I had the money for that, I wouldn't waste it like that. You know how much an oil change costs on a Lamborghini? I don't care if I had a billion dollars. I'm not spending 25 grand for an oil change. It's just the way I am. I grew up in the hood. I know what an oil change costs. I'll do it myself. I'm just that type of guy. But enjoy luxury. Enjoy elegance. Enjoy nice things. I'm wearing them right now. I'm not going to lift my feet up. But I'm wearing a set of $400... Oxford shoes, handmade in Italy. These are the most comfortable, amazing, awesome shoes I think I've ever worn. What are they? Uh, Bruno Magali. Same shoes that OJ wore. <laughs> Go back and look at the OJ trial. OJ was, was just about busted because of his shoes, these ones. I got these at Goodwill this morning for $7.00. Because Goodwill has a half off on Monday's sale. Every day on Monday, it's half off. These were actually $15. I, I paid $7 because it was half off. They've these, these don't have a scratch, a ding. They look like they've never been worn. You look at the bottom, it looks like they've never even touched concrete before. $7. I got a pair of $400 shoes. Stop wearing the stupid Crocs. Learn how to shop. A uh, gentleman, a G, a real G enjoys the search for nice things, nice watches. I'm wearing my Belova today. I love this great dress watch. Belova's a great company in my opinion. I had a great time finding this watch. When I found it, I got a great deal on it, snatched it right up. Become confident and comfortable in who you are and there's so much that goes into this and then you present yourself to the world more like James Bond and you find yourself living in a level of experience which is so much more enjoyable and forward moving a gangster is a miserable depressing lifestyle that ends early because of murder or life in prison. I got a buddy of mine doing 107 years right now, federal prison, Colorado. I haven't written him a letter in a long time. I've pretty much forgot about him. Everybody has. That's what a gangster does. Be a gentleman. Food for thought.